So here is the digital TV tuner for the Xbox One from a company called Opage. And today we're going to show how you can stream live TV to your Surface Pro 3 tablet or Surface Pro 4 tablet or even your Surface Book um, Windows uh, laptop using this cute little device. So here we have our Surface Pro 3 tablet. This can also be a Surface Pro 4 tablet um, or any other Windows tablet that has Windows 10 on it. Uh, for this example, we're using the Windows, uh, the uh, Surface Pro 3, as I said. So before we, uh, before we start, first thing you do, make sure you have the uh, antenna that comes with the uh, with the kit. And um, what I recommend doing for now, anyway, is let's put the antenna aside for now. We don't need that. Let's get the um, digital TV tuner for the Xbox One. And let's plug that into the uh, USB port on the side of the Surface Pro 3. Now, I also have the so there's, there's some software. Uh, this is WinTV software that you would also need, and that will have to be installed on the tablet. But before you can install that um, software, you have to make sure that you have the digital TV tuner for the Xbox One also plugged in. Now, the problem with the Surface Pro 3 and 4 tablets is that they only have one USB port. So what I would recommend doing, because I'm going to need two, right? I'm going to need to plug this in, and I'm also going to need to plug in my, uh, install my software. Now, if you, you can either, you know, install the software online, just download it from the net. But if you don't, uh, like in my case, uh, for the purposes of this exercise, I actually have the software installed on, uh, on a USB stick. And all I did was just take the uh, um, uh, software from the CD because uh, I have Windows TV uh, on a CD um, and I just converted it onto this, right? So here's the WinTV CD with the uh, software that you have to pre-install on your device. Um, now, of course, the uh, Surface Pro 3 doesn't have a built-in CD drive. Uh, so what I did, I just copied the contents of this onto one of these memory sticks and I can actually plug this memory stick into the USB port of the Surface Pro 3 or 4 and then I can install the software. Now when you install the software uh, this also has to be connected to a USB port so since the Surface Pro 3 and the Surface Pro 4 tablet only has a single USB port um, for the sake of this exercise because I'm not I could easily you know just download this from the download the software that's on here directly from the web but I'm not so I just will just use a simple USB hub so I have some more ports so let me get my USB hub so here's my four port USB hub from D-Link what I like about this hub uh, is the fact that you know you have your three USB ports on this side you have a, a fourth one here and you have a nice little cable that plugs into your PC and you have like a three inch cable here which gives it that extra flexibility and when you're storing it, you just actually plug this little nub here into any of the ports, like so, and it's ready for storage, right? And this is by D-Link. So I will have a link at the bottom of the page where you can get these cool hubs. Anyway, back to my demo. So I'm gonna plug this into the side of the Surface Pro 3 tablet. Now I have all these ports. What I'm gonna do next is plug in my digital TV tuner for the Xbox One into one of the USB ports. And you can tell by that dun -dun 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 sound that the tablet detects that that piece of hardware is connected. Now let's install our software from our USB stick. Plug that into another port here. All right. So we have uh, where's Win TV? Okay, set up. Yes. Let's install that software. English, yes. Install drivers, yes. So while I'm installing the drivers, to get um, live TV on your Service Pro 3 or Service Pro 4 tablets, you will need this uh, nice looking little um, digital TV tuner. Uh, it's a nice little compact size thing, roughly the size of a pack of gum or even smaller. and um, you know, to install it on, you know, to, for it to work, you have to install some software. So, so you would need WinTV 
this one I have is version 7. I believe there is a version 8 out today, but uh, you can use version 7. Um, and uh, if you don't have a CD, um, no worries. You can just download, get this off the web and download it directly onto your tablet. Um, and, and if you don't want to do that, you can just uh, copy the contents of your CD, if you do have a CD, onto a USB stick like I've done. And then when you, before you install the software, make sure that you have your um, digital TV tuner hooked up to the tablet um, because that needs to be connected before uh, so that the software can actually detect it while installing. So right now I just started to install the software and there are two steps. One was install the drivers and then the second step would be to install the WinTV app itself. So the drivers have been suc uh, updated um, successfully and installed and then they say that changes will take effect after you after you restart your computer, right? So just click to exit. So what I'm gonna do next is install the WinTV app now by going here, step two, pretty self-explanatory. Just double click on that. Just wait for a second. Welcome to the WinTV setup. Click install. Now it's asked me for a product code. Now there is a product code on my CD, so I'm gonna enter that right now. Okay, so I've installed the, uh, put my product code in, and we are now installing the software. So let's just re go over the steps. Now, um, the purpose of this exercise in this video was to show you how we install, uh, get live TV uh, to work on our uh, tablet, our Windows tablet. Now I'm using the Surface Pro 3. Uh, and the Surface Pro 4 will also work as well using the same method. Now you will need this nice little device here and that's a little TV, a digital TV tuner, right? And I stress that it's a digital, not analog, it's a digital TV tuner. Um, and it's actually uh, for the Xbox One, but you can use it uh, for, for you know regular um, Windows devices as well. And uh, what you would need to do is install uh, you know, con connect the device uh, via a USB um, to, 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 into any USB port on your on your tablet, and uh, and then you would install this software. Now I have a CD version of, of WinTV, so that's the software that you would need to install. It's called WinTV. I have the, uh, an older version here, version seven. I believe there is a version eight out now, but you know it doesn't matter. You can use version seven, um, and you know if you don't have a uh, and if you do have a CD. Uh, you know, of course, there's no CD drive on the Surface Pro 3 tablet or Surface Pro 4 tablet, so you can just you know, copy the contents of this onto a USB stick like I've done over here, uh, this little blue one, and then um, uh, prior to running the program and installing the software, make sure your, your, you know, your digital tuner is connected uh, up to the tablet as well. And then, uh, so we've done that, we put in the product code. Uh, just follow the um, prompts and we're here. So when installing the software, there are two steps. Steps one is to install the drivers that come pre-installed uh, with the uh, software. And then step two is to in install the actual WinTV uh, application that we're gonna be using. And that application is the, the skin that we're gonna be using uh, to you know surf your browser channels and actually watch live TV. So we're nearly done. So let's click finish. So the, the application is installed and, and there is the WinTV logo in the top left hand corner. So what I'm going to do now, before I run that application, let's now connect the, it comes with this really cool uh, antenna and this antenna I believe has a 10 mile range and it comes with this nice little coax um, plug here which I plug here into the uh, tuner, digital tuner. Right. And just put this over here. Now let's run the application. So now run the application and this nice app, uh, skin comes up. Now of course there's no TV yet because what I have to do is scan for channels. Now in a lot of cities, I know in North America, you have a lot of free um, over the air um, digital channels. Um, so what we're going to do is scan for those those channels. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just press the setup button here. Let's go to devices. Now let me select the tuner, the WinTV tuner. 
Now let's click on Tuner Setup. Now it's going to ask me what do I want to, to, to scan for. Um, so I want to set up digital ATSC channels. Those are the digital channels that I was talking about that are, there are quite a few free ones, um, ATSC um, digital channels that are over the year. So that's all I want to scan for. But you know, if you uh, know of other um, types of channels uh, that you, you have in your area, by all means go and scan for them. So for example, there's the digital QAM channel. You can also scan for analog TV, uh, and it's either via cable or over through an antenna. Uh, and then you have like um, an external input. So if you have a composite uh, S video s uh, source, you can use that as well uh, to provide uh, live uh, or, or um, um, channel feeds into into the application. And it can also scan for um, FM radio, analog FM radio. So you can actually get um, you know FM stations uh, on this as well. But for the purposes of this particular demo, I'm just going to show TV because I think TV is much more sexier to, to demo than you know FM radio. But you can you know also get FM radio channels, and this this comes in really handy if you're at the office, right? And uh, anyway, so let's see. Next, now the scanning process could range from you know a couple seconds to even a couple of minutes. It, it all depends on how many channels are in your area, and you know if you're in a good in a good zone with good reception that you can actually pick up channels. So let's. Uh, Leave this for a couple minutes and come back and see what we find. So it's picked up two channels so far. That's great. Let's let it keep going. Oh, we found a third channel. I believe there are about six or seven channels free uh, in this area. So let's see here. We may be halfway. Now what's so beautiful about this application is that, you know, the tuner is very, very small. The antenna is small and portable, and it's powerful as well. So, uh, you know, so a good use case for this is, you know, at the office. You know, if you, you know, you work at the office and you want to be able to watch, you know, if you have to work late and you need to watch the six o'clock news, you can use this uh, TV tuner and you have your TV. And, you know, if the boss isn't watching, you can watch your favorite soap opera uh, at lunchtime. You know, uh, if there's any sports on, hey, sports fans, you will love this little piece of hardware uh, so you can catch the latest football game or if you're uh, European, you know, the latest soccer game while working, right? And that's the beauty about this app as well. It, you know, you can, you know, have different viewing modes. You can look at this, you, know, you can view TV in full screen mode or you can have it run in a window, right? So, uh, you know, you, you guys get the picture, no pun intended. So let's leave it for a couple more minutes and see and what happens anyway. When it's finished scanning all of the channels, it will just stop. And those are the channels that you have and then you can just start watching TV. So as you can see, it's getting quite a few channels. A lot of channels here. Okay, so the TV scan complete. So I guess you went through 69 physical channels. So when you're done, you just click next. And the device setup wizard has completed the installation of the following device. So it has the WinTV identifier, which is this nice little tuner here, and then press next to continue. And let's go OK. So here we have TV, and as you can see, it's in the window, and you can move the window anywhere on your tablet. Right. Then maximize the screen. It was the hat pun that gave me an idea. Watch right. dog. Like a guard dog. And then you know what's really cool about this as well? Past, it's on a PC, right? You can actually videos. record TV, live TV. There's a little red button there, you press that. And right now you see that little red bar? It just means it's recording. So I'm actually recording live TV. Uh, which comes in handy if you're really busy. And you can, you know, move the screen around, move the uh, TV around the screen. You can change the size of the screen. You know, maximize it, minimize it. Right, and as I said, right now I'm recording. So when I'm done recording, just press the red button again, and the recording will stop. Now, if you want to see where I've stored that recording, 
Let's go into settings and go to capture and then you can actually select the directory where you want to save your, your file. So you may not see it clearly from here but it's self-explanatory when you just use the app. Just, let me just lower the volume here for a sec. It's pretty self-explanatory when you want when you're um like navigating the application where you just go into the, the advanced settings, uh, go into settings, you click the uh, you press the capture tab, and then there's a recordings directory, and then you can go in there and browse. Now, of course, when you restart the the app, it will uh, whatever channel you were on when you turned off the app, it just goes back to that same channel. So as I said, it did record, um, and if you want to record. You know, you just press that little red button there and you can actually record um, live TV, right? So let me just make the screen bigger so you can see. So this is what I'm recording right now. And then what you can do is when you're finished, just press that button again. Now, if you're not sure where it was stored, you just press that uh, gear there. That's your setup. You go to the capture tab and here is a recordings directory. So by default, it's gone into C users public videos. So let's go and look for it public uh, public videos and here as you can see there are two recordings that I just did so let's open this one uh, let's use the Windows Media Player for this one and as you can see that's my recording now you can also um, do trick plays let me show you so there's like a fast forward button and a rewind so if I press fast forward I can actually fast forward the video, right? And actually, can see the little timeline there, so you can actually navigate that and fast forward. Because what happens, obviously, it's enable trick functions. When, oops, sorry, when the uh, the video, when the the TV is streaming, there's a buffer, which actually collects that stream, makes sure that it's all collected nicely, and then it pushes it out the other end onto the screen. So because you have that buffer of information, you can actually navigate along that buffer. And hence, you can go, you, you can rewind and you can fast forward, right? So it will come in very, so as you can see, I'm just rewinding here. Go back a bit. You can even pause it too. See, you can pause and you can continue again. Um, so this comes in handy, of course, if you're watching sports and you want to relive that special shot in gold. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a demo of how you can get live TV on your Service Pro 3 tablet or your Service Pro 4 tablet or pretty much any tablet that has Windows, the Windows operating system on it. Um, it's actually this, the digital TV tuner for the Xbox One, uh, designed to get you streaming TV on your Xbox One. But if you don't have an Xbox One, no worries. It's a Windows, uh, it's a Windows um, piece of hardware. So here, as you can see here, it's compatible with. Uh, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, wow, and even Windows XP, so anything with Windows on it, you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website, www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter. And when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address, you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know it's it's uh, it's really cool, and of course the newsletter will have you know you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know what's coming up next, um, you know new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really really really, really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is on this side on the screen here up here, on my left. Uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now by subscribing, of course, you will be you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.